What's going on y'all? It's your boy Thomas and today I wanted to go over the dynamic double progression principle with all of you so you have an idea of what it is, how to utilize it in your own training and how to get the most out of it. So in my CrossFit classes, I've been using this dynamic double progression in our strength progressions because usually in my CrossFit class, we'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes warming up. We'll spend about 20 to 25 minutes doing our strength work, usually with the barbell, sometimes our dumbbells, and then we'll spend the rest of the time doing some type of conditioning work. So in my classes, I have people that are all kinds of different fitness levels. I have people that have been with me for a month. I've been have people that have been with me for multiple years. So everyone's in different parts of their fitness or lifting career. And the cool thing with the dynamic double progression is that it caters to everybody at any level. And personally, I feel like I kind of plateaued with my lifting and my strength, and this has kind of given me another jump start to keep moving forward. So I kind of want to go over how this is going to work. So the dynamic double progression, you're going to be picking any amount of sets, and then you want to have a rep range. So usually for the rep range, you want to pick about like for example, six to eight, eight to 10, something that has about a two rep difference that gives you that range. So for example, with us, what we're doing right now is for our main lifts, we're doing three sets of six to eight. Hope you guys can see that. I'm trying to write it a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. So we're doing three sets of six to eight on our main lifts. And today, for my example, I'm gonna use the deadlift. The deadlift's gonna be our lift example. I'm gonna write this down. Deadlift. Boom. Okay, so dynamic double progression, three sets, eight. We're talking about the deadlift. And I'm gonna just use a four week cycle. That way we can all kind of understand how you progress with this type of progression. And I'm gonna use different colors so you guys can see that along the way. So when you begin this progression, you wanna start off with the weight that you can hit the upper end range with. So for example, for the deadlift, let's just say we're using 225. So we're going to go, this is week one, week one, and let's say we hit 225. Let's say 225 is our starting weight, okay? So 225 starting weight, and let's say today I hit eight reps on all of them, okay? So 225, eight reps for three sets. That was what I did on week one. Week two... I'm going to increase my weight. Okay, week two, I'm going to increase my weight. Let's say I go to 245. That's going to be my next example. 245. Okay, and let's say this week I wasn't feeling good, work was really long, my nutrition wasn't on point, I didn't get that much sleep. And let's say my reps kind of fluctuated. So let's say on set one, I hit eight. And then set two, I felt tired, I hit seven. And then set three, I was pretty gassed, I hit six, right? That's the beauty behind the dynamic double progression is with this rep range, you wanna minimally hit six and you wanna aim for eight. So there may be sets where you don't feel as good, maybe you feel a little off, you're tired, it's okay to back off a little bit and listen to your body, okay? So if you notice from week one to week two, since I hit eight reps on all three sets, I increased my weight on all three sets, okay? On week two, 245, I hit eight on the first set. 245, I hit seven on the second set, and then hit six on the third set. So here's how it's gonna change up on week three. So week three, I'm only gonna increase weight on the set that I hit eight reps with. So I'm only gonna increase weight on my first set. My second two sets, I'm gonna keep the same weight as the week before. So let's say I go to 265 on my first set, and then my next two sets, I stay at 245, okay? And let's just say, for the sake of our progression, on set one, I hit six, and then on set two, I hit eight, and then set three, I hit eight, okay? So the whole idea behind a dynamic double progression is it gives you room to grow, whether it's in regard to the amount of reps you're doing or the amount of weight you're lifting. So if you can see here, week two, on my first set, I did 245 by eight. So since I hit eight, I go up to 265 and I hit six reps there, okay? On my next two sets, since I did not hit eight reps, I'm staying at 245. And my goal now with this week, since I stay at the same weight, is to beat my reps from before and try to hit eight. So let's say on set two, I hit 245 for eight and I hit 245 for eight again on set three. So as you can see here, I'm still progressing forward 
set one was with our weight and then set two was with our reps. That's the cool thing with the dynamic double progression is there's always a way to PR whether it's through your reps or through your weight. And each individual set becomes its own mini progression because there may be days where you know, you're not gonna hit eight reps every time just because as you progress throughout your sets, you get more fatigued, right? You're hitting eight reps multiple times for a heavy load. You may not be able to replicate that over and over again. And that's why the dynamic double progression is really cool. So if that, I really hope that helps. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to talk about it more, but that essentially is the basics. You are picking a rep range that gives you about a two rep difference and you're picking a certain amount of sets. And this works really well with the main lifts, such as like your deadlift, your shoulder press, bench press, squat, stuff like that. Currently we're sticking with four week cycles following a deload. So you can use this for any type of amount in regards to how many weeks you're going and when you're taking your deload. But again, hopefully this makes sense and hope you guys have a great day and got something out of this. Take care.